Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to talk about the Santa Claus disease. Is the Santa Claus disease limiting you in your success? Is the Santa Claus disease stopping you from the abundance that you want in your life? Now, if, if you believe in law of attraction, law of assumption, is it the Santa Claus disease stopping you from achieving your goals, from achieving your attentions that you're setting in your life? Is it stopping you? So in this video, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about what is the Santa Claus disease. And secondly is I think most people suffer from this, myself included. So before we get into it, let's explain one thing about abundance. I'm going to make this very, very clear right in the beginning of the video. With abundance, okay, no matter what we believe, okay, no matter we're going after success, we're going after goals, we're trying to achieve our goals, we're doing a law of attraction, law of assumption, we're doing all the practices with law of attraction, okay, we're trying to follow the laws of abundance because we want a better life, we're trying to achieve better in our lives. But what does it really come down to? The basics to abundance is us. Okay, what do I believe? What do you truly believe about yourself? What does Chad really believe about myself? Okay, what we have to understand is abundance is already inside us. Okay, if you're spiritual, heaven is within you. God is within you. Period. Abundance is inside you. Your birthright, listen to this, your birthright is abundance. Your birthright is is prosperity. Your birthright is being able to achieve anything that you want in your life. That's your birthright. That's the law of abundance. But you see what, see, you see how I'm talking. It all comes down to your personal belief. If you really believe it, if you feel that you deserve it, do you feel that you deserve abundance in your life? I mean, answer that question. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell your friends. You don't have to tell your family. Answer it to yourself. Do you truly believe you deserve abundance in your life? Do you truly believe that you deserve whatever your attentions are, whatever your goals are? Do you believe you deserve it? See, if you have that little voice in your in your mind saying, no, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I deserve it. Well, that's a limiting belief. That means you truly don't believe abundance is inside you. So the first step, the basics here is belief. Abundance is inside you. Heaven is within you. Abundance is your birthright. You deserve what you want in your life. You deserve prosperity. You deserve abundance. I deserve prosperity. I deserve abundance. That's the first step. Now, let's move on to number two. What's this Santa Claus disease am I talking about? Okay, and I, and I heard this being explained and someone used this analogy and I, and I thought it, I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was fantastic. Because especially in the Western Hemisphere, okay, is we're brought up as kids believing in Santa Claus. Now, I'm not going to get into the, the, the differences of should we teach our kids this or not, but this is an interesting concept. Okay, when we grow up as a kid believing in Santa Claus, what's the one thing that we're taught? You have to be good, Right? Okay, you don't want to get on Santa Claus' naughty list. So it teaches us as a kid, super, super small, that you have to be good and not bad. What happens if you're bad? Well, Santa Claus isn't going to bring you gifts. Santa Claus isn't going to bring you what you want. That, 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 that great big dream gift that you want, well, if you're bad, Santa Claus isn't going to bring it to you. But if you're good, well, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get everything you want. Okay, now what's wrong with this? You might, once I'm explaining it, you might already see what I'm going to say. You might already, it might be an aha moment. It might be a light bulb pops off in your brain. But what it's teaching us, you know, subconsciously is that I have to be good in order to get what I want. As we progress into adulthood as teen, as a teenager, adulthood, of course, we don't believe in Santa Claus anymore, but we adopt that same pattern of belief that we've taught as a kid believing in Santa Claus. Okay, I have to be good in order to get what I want. And we, we basically self-sabotage ourselves because this comes back to abundance. Is if, if I don't believe that I deserve to make a higher salary, if I don't believe I deserve to 
to live in abundance, if I don't believe I deserve to have what I want, we all want different things. But if I don't believe I deserve it because I'm, I'm self-sabotaging, I'm telling myself within, well, was I good? Was I bad? So we start beating ourselves up mentally in this concept. And some of it has stemmed from being a kid growing up believing in Santa Claus, growing up believing this hogwash of being good or bad. Okay, if you're bad, well, you don't, Santa Claus don't come. Santa Claus won't bring you gifts. Santa Claus won't bring you what you really want. But if you're good, you will. And we play self-sabotage in our mind. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yes. Is Then it kind of moves on from a Santa Claus disease. Then it kind of moves on to religious spirituality, religion. You know, going to church, no matter what your religion is. All religions almost play part of this. Okay, no matter if you're Christian, Catholic, Buddhist, what not all religions kind of have a form of this while I'm going to explain is that it's still a good and bad philosophy. Isn't it kind of weird? It's still a good and bad philosophy. So even Christian, if you're Christian, you know, you, you believe your sin, sin separates you from God. Okay. Sin is your bad. And we adopt this analogy in our brain. Well, if I'm bad, I don't deserve to have prosperity. If I'm bad, God's going to punish me. If I'm bad, I'm not going to get what I want. It's still, it's still the same concept of you believing in Santa Claus. <laughs> if you compare the two, okay, sitting God aside, if you compare the two, it's the same concept of what you're taught as a kid believing in Santa Claus. You have to be good to get what you want. And we self-sabotage ourselves, okay? When, when I, when I, I'm not really in a church right now, but when I used to go to church all the time, some churches I would visit, it would be surprising to me how many people believe this, how many people totally self-sabotage themselves and they really don't think they deserve the lifestyle. They really don't think they deserve, they deserve abundance in their life. And they beat themselves up because they, they, they keep a checklist of being good and bad. They keep a checklist of sin, okay? Well, I sinned today. God's going to punish me. They keep that, that whole mentality of God punishing you. And it, it to me, this could be a whole other talk, but I, I don't really buy it, honestly, with spirituality, okay? And the reason why I don't buy it is, okay, why, did, why would God punish his own people? You know, and not punish and not punish the people that don't believe in them. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, it's it's more. This is more of a human error that we're we're being taught in scripture. Only an opinion. Okay, going back to the beginning of the video, abundance is your birthright. Abundance is inside you. Heaven is already within you. Okay, these are these these can be backed up through scripture. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. Okay, even even if you're Buddhist, well, Chad, I'm not Christian, I'm Buddhist. Well, Buddhists believe, okay, my my girlfriend's Thai, okay, now I've lived in Thailand, I'm going back in Thailand. Once you see this video, I'm already going to be in Thailand. But in Thailand, most people are either Buddhist or Muslim in Thailand. So Buddhists believe the same thing, okay? They, they believe, they have like a tier system on how good they are. And how good they are is how you're going to be treated in the afterlife. Okay, they still have a good and bad scale, but it's just a different religion. But they still have this good and bad philosophy. Well, I'm bad. I don't deserve this. And really what it really comes down to, the boils down to, is it, it plays with our self-belief. It plays with our belief system and ourselves. And this is what holds us back to law of attraction. Any law of attraction exercise you do, it doesn't matter how much you do this I'm going to keep my language down. No matter how much you do this, how much, how many times you do these exercises, but if it really boils down to you're self-guessing yourself, you really don't believe you deserve it, it's not going to come to you. So you really have to do it like a self-analysis and think to yourself, do you struggle with, with the same things I'm talking about? And if I'm 100% honest with myself, I struggle with this. Why? Because it, when, when, when you understand the subconscious mind, you understand human programming, you understand how we're influenced, conditioning, no matter how you want to say it, conditioning of the subconscious mind, when you understand these, these aspects, and we're taught these aspects as little on up, I mean, as far as I can go back, as far as I can remember, you know, 
I believe in Santa Claus. As far as I can remember, you know, we're doing Christmas and stuff like this. You know, maybe it was around, I don't know how old I was. Maybe I was in the third grade and I stopped believing or something like that. But being that young and that influenced and that influential of believing in Santa Claus and believing in I only get something if I'm good and I don't get it if I'm bad, you know, that, that plays with, that plays with my own worthiness. We, we, we think we're good and bad. We, we think that if I do something bad, I beat myself up. Same way when it follows into religion. Well, you have to be good and bad. If you're bad, God is going to punish you. Buddha is going to punish you. Okay, you're going to have a worse life and an af afterlife. You, you know what I mean? Rather than, rather than true spiritual teachings, our abundance is already inside you. It's, it's the power of your thoughts. It's the power of your own belief. It's, it's power of your own belief system. Heaven is within you. God is within you, baby. But you have to believe it. You have to believe it's there. You have to believe that you deserve abundance. You deserve to make more money. You deserve to have the salary that you want. You deserve to go on month vacations if that, that's what you want. You deserve to give to charities if that's what you want. You deserve to help other people if that's what you want. You deserve to live in your dream house if that's what you want. You deserve to have your dream car if that's what you want. You deserve, if you want a, a, 2000, a 2023 911 Twin Turbo Porsche Blood Orange, you deserve that and you believe you deserve it, there's no reason why you can't have it. But it comes down to you. And these false pretenses that we've been taught as a kid, we have to understand, plays in our subconscious mind. It's there. No matter it came from believing in Santa Claus, it came from it came from a certain religion. And I'm not downplaying religions. I just think sometimes what we're taught, it's not that the religion itself is bad, but how it's taught has more of a humanistic view to it rather than a higher consciousness to it, a higher consciousness view to it. So that's what you, that's what I want you to walk away with today. Do you suffer from this? That's what you have to answer. Because once, once you realize you suffer from this, once you realize that you do this behavior, you can fix it. That, that, that's a great news. Once I realize I'm doing it, well, I can do something about it. I can catch myself thinking that way. Then I have my affirmations and my intentions to kind of switch my thoughts around. Okay. In the beginning, it, it seems like my, my mind's going haywire because I'm catching myself all the time. I'm like, holy crap. But th that's the kind of first step is becoming aware. Once you're aware you're doing something, once you're aware you have a certain thought process that you don't like, you can fix it. But other than that, my friends, I'm going to go. Probably the, my next videos are, are going to be in Thailand. Right now, I'm still at home. But by the time you see this video, I'm actually in Thailand. I just don't have a Thailand video coming out yet. But anyway, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on this, what your pros and cons are, what your aspirations are, your intentions, what you're struggling with. And I'll see you in the next video.